Hi guys, how are you all? After a long time, I'm back with a new video. Unfortunately, I couldn't do any videos because I was stuck with my research stuff. But here I'm back. Okay, without further ado, let's jump on to today's video. There are so many videos on how to connect a brand new R Studio project to Git and GitHub or creating the project from a GitHub repository. But most of the people have no idea how to connect an existing R Studio project to Git and GitHub. So let's get started with a simple and straightforward demonstration to tie an existing R project to GitHub. Actually, GitHub is a great tool to make your code, data, figures and tables more publicly accessible. Okay, so without talking much, I'm going to open an existing project in my RStudio by clicking Files, New Project and then the existing directory. So you can open the project working directory by browsing your computer. I'm using one of my directories that contains our script and a PDF. Um, then click on create project. Okay, now you can see my project name at the top right corner of this R Studio. In this project, we have these files, but these are not under any kind of version control. In this upper right panel, that means the environment and history panel, there's nothing here that says git, which indicates version control. So to connect the things in our studio to GitHub, we need to have git installed. For that, we'll go into tools, then version control, and then project setup. This leads me to the project options panel. Now this version control system set to none, but you want it to be set to git. Then click yes and again yes. And it then restart our studio. And here you go. Now you can see a tab for git in the environment and history panel. That means we've generated a git repository in our, our project. Now we can go ahead and tick all the files we want to connect to the GitHub. Then click commit button here. Now you can enter a commit message. Mm, I'm going to use an example message and then commit it. At the same time, if we check here, we can't see anything in our Studio Git panel. That means everything is set and up to date. Then we want to move to our GitHub account. Here I should create new repository using this green button. So the owner is me and I'm going to add a repository name and a description. I'll just make it public if you want. You can make it private and also you can add a readme file and create the repository. Now it tells us what to do. As we have an existing repository, I want these three commands. I just copy them and move to my terminal tab in our studio. In the terminal tab, I paste the three commands and hit the enter button. At the same time, you should enter your username. In mine, it's Tanu92. Then OK. Then you should enter the password for your GitHub account. Sometimes you have to use a Git token instead of your password. If you are asked a Git token, you should create a personal access token here. I hope you can figure out how to create a personal token as all the steps are clearly mentioned in their site. Now you can come back to the repository and hit refresh. And here you go. Now I have all my files here in GitHub. So that's it. I hope you guys learned how to connect an existing RStudio project to your GitHub account. 
Here you have to do some work in the command line that GitHub allows you to connect your local repository to the remote GitHub repository. All right, that's the end of today's video. If you have any questions, suggestions or comments, let us know in the comment section below. In my next video, I hope to demonstrate on Compute Canada, Canada's national high performance compute system. So until then, take care. Bye bye. Unfortunately, I couldn't do. But here am I. Anyways, <laughs> let us know in the comment section below. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> until then, take care. Bye bye. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Until then, take care. Bye bye.